Yo, what's up, guys? In this episode, we are talking about anger. Notice my new setup. It's uh, I have bought a graphics tablet so that I thought I can draw better. So, what is anger, right? Now, let me like define at least the the definition that I am calling as anger, right? You have you ever been in a situation like where the other person becomes like a living devil and uh, they become like a whole new person. They come after you with like this tone of voice, with this force. I'm like, no, this is how it has to be. This is this is exactly how it should be. Nothing should change. They they talk to you in this in this way, and everyone has been in the receiving end at one point of time or has given the experience to someone else at some point of time. So in this episode, I'm going to explore this version of anger where you're going after somebody and where you're like forceful relationship breaks that sort of anger and where is it stemming from and not only that after i explain the idea of how this happens i'm also gonna like towards the end of the video tell what triggers an entp so first i'm going to explain the belief system and the concept of this anger the rage like where you're going after someone with this masculine <clears throat> and it's like you're screaming you're like punching right that why is it happening and what exactly you should do in that sort of situation also after that i will tell what triggers an entp so you have some something to like go after in your own life and you can apply it immediately i have used it and you know, once once you get a get a feel for this process you will become like a saint trust me so here's anger now let's talk now let me take my bob right now bob is a happy dude hmm and and he's like going there's sun shining and all that stuff but one day someone like triggers him right now he becomes angry and he becomes like a devil and he's like going after someone and you know then there is fight then there's drama and this is other people stuff like that right so what happened here what exactly happened so there is bob right here is external reality here in his head you have the meaning giving system or what i call the belief system what i mean by belief system is uh, something that gives meaning to this external reality something that gives meaning to oh this is the tree and stuff like that something that the interpreter right and you have your own personal view of how the world should be right here's the personal you guys can't even like read it here's like the personal belief system right so what happened here let's say your personal view of reality and the external reality didn't align right before it was aligning but didn't align you expected something to be but something else happened what anger basically is is your trying what your ego does the the evil ego right so what ego does now your ego sees this it sees that your external reality is not aligned with your internal reality you know what that results to it is threatening your ego survival it is threatening it so what ego tries to do it tries to align the external reality to its internal reality that's all it's trying to do it, it is it is basically saying oh my god this is not how it wait is if it if it's like this i'm going to die right so let me like move the real world to my world the way i think world should be and in that the ego once once it did align it like disappears right and in our society it's like getting triggered right in our society anger is is the way currently that they use to align the external world with the, the way they think the world should be like so what what is happening here so here's the external reality here you get angry so what is happening here you have the external reality it is not aligned with the internal personal reality and so now ego sees this it threatens the survival and now you become angry and once you become angry you you rage at the physical world you destroy it you become like a evil person or whatever and but that results to the external reality aligning with your internal reality that is basically the process of anger it is a very useful emotion in a very like animalistic way to just get things done and be things your way now there is a problem in this no matter how much you try to align the external world with your internal world the external world is going to be the external world no matter how much you want the cat to me bark it's going to meow 
the dynamic I'm trying to explain here is no matter how much you try to align the external world with your internal world, the external world is going to be what it is. You cannot do anything about it. Just like a cat is going to meow, you cannot do anything about it. Even if you wanted to bark or you wanted to fly, it is going to just sit and meow and that's all a cat is going to do. Similarly, what reality is, is it is what it is. Whatever it is, you just have to be unconditionally accepting of whatever it is. Now, how do you do that, Prem? How do you become unconditionally accepting? How do you like uh, escape that emotion of rage, right? Very good question. Now, you you guys should realize this concept that I said, just realizing that you're trying to align your internal world, right? You're trying to align your internal world with the external reality. Just this, when you become conscious of this, this dynamic, when you become conscious of this pattern, right, you have escaped it. That's it. That's all there is to it. There's nothing more that you don't have to figure it out. The moment you see the pattern, you're outside it. Just like, for example, let's say you're in a forest, right? There are a lot of trees, right? And, and you're in this forest, just looking at this trees, and there are tons of trees, right? And this is a forest, there's like a deer and all that stuff, right? Here's like a grass, foliage, whatever. Now this is you, now this is Bob. Now Bob, all Bob can see is the trees, is this foliage and all that stuff. But, and that's what he is, he's trapped in this perspective of trees, right? Now to see, Now for Bob to see the entire forest, he needs to be outside it, right? Only then he can see the entire forest. So the dynamic that I want to explain here is when you're looking at the habit, when you're in the habit, right? When you're in anger, it's like you're in the forest. But the moment you become conscious of the anger, it is like you're seeing the entire forest here. And the moment you're seeing the forest, the moment you're becoming conscious that, oh, my entire, my, I'm, all I'm trying to do is align the external reality, my internal world. The moment you become conscious of that, you need to be outside it to be conscious of that. And that is how you are outside forest now. You're outside the emotion of anger. And it's, it's as simple as that. Of course, are there going to be residual emotions? Of course. But the moment you become even conscious of it, you can now work with it. Now you can go, oh, it's just this is stuff going in my brain, this chemical. And now you can start doing breathing exercises, taking deep breaths in and deep breath out. <sighs> you can do, you can have a very peaceful conversation. You can leave politely without offending the other person, right? I'm sorry, dude. I, I don't feel quite well during this conversation. I'm going to like leave now. Thank you very much for your time and just leave can do that many more options open up you don't have to give in to the emotion of anger and that's basically how you escape the emotion of anger right rage now what triggers entp now what triggers entp right right what triggers entp first one I would say is SI. Now, what I mean by SI is personal, right? Sensory. Now, sensory, I mean by the real world. So what happens with me is not everything, okay? So if, if something happens in the sensory world, not everything triggers me, but there are very few things in the thing, like the way I arrange my closet. If someone comes and tampers with that, that triggers me. Or if I, if I personally treasure up, so I, what happens with an SI, some items become very personal, like this, like this, uh, an amethyst pendant that my friend gave, or, uh, you know, or uh, it would be like a, a watch of your grandfather, right? That, that has been passed on to generations after generations. So these very personal sensory objects, if something happens to them, you get really triggered. And anything can get into your personal sensory, right? A particular cloth, uh, an attire, uh, an app that you're using, something like that, and or the way you organize your closet, the way your morning routine is set up, right? Here's where you're immovable. 
and if someone says hey 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 you know what just throw this necklace there's a better necklace you like dude no get, get leave me alone He's like no 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 do this do this right so personal sensory si one thing that triggers me another thing that entps will more relate to this not so much but this is personal logic so what happens with the people who have like ti like us we go and we like consume 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 and we like build our world view and what ti basically does is it builds a world view a way you look at the world in a very personal way you must have here's like a bob with ti right you must have gone and consumed all the logical okay this is true or this is false or you chose false and you must have built such a big logical network here is true this is false something like that and you must have built all this logic right but if someone comes and says no 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 this entire thing is wrong you know throw it out of the window that that might trigger you when someone like is not even willing to like listen and walk walk through this process of how you ended up with this conclusion saying that you know entp is awesome or whatever it is that triggers you what what usually happens with a with the people who have like ti is like a ti as a function is like a plant right you're growing it you're nurturing it that there there are logics that you believe is not just you know you read it from a book or something you're applied in a personal experience or something you're like growing it right but extra let's say te right te is like you're building a building and all the stuff is like non personal to you right so so you're just taking like little, little bricks and you're putting it and you're like oh if this brick doesn't work throw this brick and put another brick in but for us it is like a plant you can it's like when when they say it's like oh just take out this pick and throw this pick it's like you're chopping off the plant here or here and all the stuff after you think it doesn't make sense so like people really get triggered when you like challenge their like world view and especially for the ti is going to be very logical in basis they would want to like talk out to you no 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 walk me through your logical process how you ended up here right pa 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 and and if you are not willing or if you disrespect that ti because it's super personal this is how they see the world right so if you like disrespect it no 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 this is not how it works but no 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 this is not how this conclusion came is wrong done wrong i'm not going to listen to you is wrong they, why why is it not this way so it's like dude listen to my entire process first right and then call call out so stuff like that might also trigger so let me know in the comments below what triggers you as an entp and situations that you got into where you got really angry or if you wanted to share an experience let me know in the comments below i would love to hear it that's it for this video i hope you like uh, this let me know what you think of this uh, the tablet thingy i'm i'm also trying it's like my first time doing this kind of thing and uh, that's it have fun i'll see you in the next video bye bye